Stop it, Simba. So good morning everybody, what's going on? Bring you another video today. So I felt like it was the perfect time to show y'all how much uh, gas costs in this car. Cause as y'all can see, I'm, I'm, I'm literally on E right now, but I'm real close to a gas station. So um, it shouldn't be a big deal. I'm right down the street from the gas station. I just gotta run to Wegmans and do some bottles real quick. And then I'm gonna get gas and show y'all how much it is. But other than that, I hope everybody having a good day today, man. It's pretty nice outside, 72 degrees. Um, that's pretty much perfect weather for me. I hate when it's like boiling hot. I can't do super hot weather, man. 70 to about, I'm sorry, like 65 to about 75 is my perfect temperature. Like I can't do anything hotter than that. So 72 today is 9.15 in the morning. Um, for people who want this car or want any other performance V8, Y'all could get a good idea on how much, how many days you'll be lasting on a full tank of gas and how much it'll cost. This video will show y'all, oh, excuse me. This video will show y'all about how much you'll be paying every time to fill up. So uh, I like to do stuff like this because a lot of people um, just jump into the car payment and they can afford the car payment and they think that's, that's all it is to it. Nah, bro. The gas alone is another car payment. I mean, that's about this. The gas costs me just as much um, as my insurance do, pretty much, which I'm gonna talk about in the next couple of videos as well. So, you gotta think about it. You got the car payment, you got gas, you got the insurance. That's really, that's really all you gotta pay, like for the first couple months, and then you start getting into um, oil changes and uh, tires, stuff like that. Tires. You should be good. Tires should at least last you. Well, at least for me, because I'm not going to be doing burnouts and all that. Like, I think everybody knows Hellcats do burnouts. Like, that's nothing new. I think it is fun and cool to do, but uh, I'll probably do that later, later down the road. But these stock tires are going to be my snow tires, so I won't be burning them up or anything like that. So they should last me at least six, seven months at least. I'm not going to be driving crazy on them. Um, I do want to change them for uh, for rolls, but that won't be anytime soon. So there's the gas station. I'm going to hit the gas station on the way back up. I'm just going to hit Wegmans real quick. Also, man, let me know how y'all like that POV uh, video. It should be up today, actually. As I, It should be uh, actually right as I'm doing this video right now. That POV video, POV video should be live and ready to go. I'm not gonna go through the parking lot. I'm gonna go all the way around because people don't know how to drive. Yeah, let me know how y'all like that. I thought it was cool. I like I actually like doing that, so I might do more of those POV videos for y'all. Those are actually that actually wasn't that bad. I expected the video to come out a lot worse, but it came out pretty good based on the angle I had. And I didn't really see it until I uh edited it. So give me a couple minutes. I'm about to do these bottles real quick. Yes, I do bottles. I don't care what nobody say. It's an extra couple little bucks to get more water. That's what I'm about all day. I usually do it with my son, though. That's something I, that's one of those things I do with my son, but um, because I have to go to work after this, I have to drop him off. But I wanted to get this done. Like I told y'all before, I have the benefit of going to work at whatever time I want. So I dropped him off real quick. I'm doing my bottles. I'm about to do this, and um, then I'm gonna head to work. So, a little benefit of working for FedEx. You get to go in at whatever time you want. Um, also, do you guys think I should take this off the Dodge? I actually kind of, I, I didn't mind it at first, but now it's kind of getting like, like duh, we know it's a Dodge. Like, I think, 
I think that's kind of corny now. I don't like it. The Charger part, I like. The Dodge part, I think gotta go, so. But anyway, I'm gonna hit y'all in a minute. I'm gonna take care of these bottles real quick. Look at this, mad bottles. But I'm gonna take care of these bottles and stay tuned for the next video, cause uh, woo, your boy got some mods, I'm about to show y'all, but we, we gonna talk about those later. So let me get these bottles real quick. I'm gonna hit y'all in a minute. We all done with bottles. Let me take this off from outside now. I just be forgetting sometimes. All right, so we all done with the bottles now. Um. Damn, I didn't realize I did a horrible park job like that. Jesus, look at this. I had so much, look how much, look how much the car sticking out, Jesus. So what happened when you're not used to these big cars, man. Well, let me get in here real quick. Let's uh, head to the gas station real quick, which is only across the street. I know I'm gonna have some people come about ruin the pump by letting my gas get that low, but it is what it is, right? If you can't afford to, the parts and the maintenance don't buy the car, right? That's what y'all usually say. Yeah, buddy. I can't believe I parked that far out of that parking spot like that, though. So let's go get some gas real quick. This car be sounding so good, even in eco mode. I think that's when the... Uh, Active exhaust is closed. I'm not sure yet. Come on, scrap. Go ahead. Them shoes is tough. What is those? Oh, yeah. Them joints crazy. I don't know what those was. It definitely was clean, though. See y'all out here, man, getting fly during COVID. Yo, I gotta admit, I gotta admit to y'all something though. <laughs> when I first got this car. You know how like most cars have the windshield uh, control on this side? Yo, I was reaching and grabbing for like the first two hours of my drive because I am definitely not used to that. I did not know these cars only come with the one control on the left side, which is everything. The blinkers, the wipers, everything. I didn't know that. So on my way home, me and my, you know, we getting all the bugs and stuff from, from, the, from the driving. And I'm telling my brother, I'm like, yo, I think they ain't put no windshield washer fluid in the car, bro. True story, son. Like, because I didn't know how to activate the windshield wiper fluid, bro. I'm just like, yo. I'm like, no, they did not forget to put windshield washer fluid from the factory in my car, bro. So I open the hood, whatever. I open the hood or whatever, right? What homie doing right here? He changing out the cars or something? All right, well, we just gonna park right here and get gas in. You good, boss, man. Yo, so, I'm like, bro, they forgot the windshield washer fluid. It literally got to the point where I had to open the hood and actually check if I had windshield washer fluid. So, I open up the hood. I'm like, yo, it's full. I'm like, okay, so maybe they ain't connect something. Like, something ain't working. Bro, why I get in the car and I go show my, I go to meet my boy and show him the car. He's like, oh, if it's just like my Ram Limited, you have to push it in. I'm like, bro, you gotta be kidding me. I couldn't fight, figure out how that windshield washer fluid worked for like four days. I was so mad. I'm like, son, there's no way they forgot windshield washer fluid. Or if they in it, but I check when I checked it, they filled it. I'm like, no way did they not hook something up and it's just not working. Cause the windshield wipers were going, but no spray was coming out. I'm just like, yo, what's going on? And my boy is just like, yo, listen, if it's like my Ram, if it's like my Ram, you have to push the button in. And I literally did it and it sprayed. I'm just like, bro, you, I like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, you can't make this up though. Like, listen, when you're not used to having nice things, man, that's what happened. So I've never had a car where there was only one, one control on the left side. I'm so used to having the blinkers over the, on this, blinker and lights on this side, and then your windshield, your speed and all that stuff on this side. So um, I just thought that was funny. But anyway, let's hop out. Let's get some gas in this bad boy. Actually, we're gonna go to a different gas station. I don't, don't do this um i'm literally on e so don't try this especially in a v8 um i'm actually 
type sketchy about if I'm gonna make it or not. But their their premium is two two uh two eighty. Uh uh, we not doing that. I got a membership card. Um, I got it for a reason. We about to use that joint. So the the premium gas where I'm at right now is two eighty. I'm not doing that. That's too much. So we gonna try to make it up the street real quick. Cause BJ's gas is 240 for premium. And that's not 90. Their 91 was 280. 93 was three dollars and some change. No way. I'm not doing that. Uh BJ's is for 93 is 240. So hopefully we can make it to BJ's. That's gonna that's it's gonna be a stretch, but again, don't don't do this with your health. I'm only doing it for video purposes. Cause I actually want to show y'all what the real prices is on gas. So don't do this with yours because you will kill your uh, fuel pump, which I'm stupid for doing, but it is what it is. I knew what I was getting into when I tried to wait till I got all the way down to E. Damn, that shit is literally on E. I know this car ain't like my Chrysler, so I might have to not make it to BJ's. Actually, we should make it to BJ's. I'm gonna try to focus on driving, so I'm gonna hit y'all right back when we get to BJ's. Woo, all right, so we made it. There's BJ's. We about to pull in right now. Man, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Listen, I haven't ran out of gas in the car since, woo, the struggle days, man. I remember those. Me and mom trying to make it to that last little spot. So we here right now, and I'm gonna show y'all what they gas is now. Uh, the crazy, the unfortunate thing is if, if you don't have a membership card to like a place like BJ's or any of those, um, membership gas places where you live in your state um, you're not gonna get the prices that you're gonna see today on my car because this is one of the cheapest places in the in the city in the city right now so um damn where I'm gonna go who a little, little like they about to finish homie right here look like he about to finish up actually I'm gonna go down here with the van Oh, you filling up a gas tank. I respect that, champion. Oh, but anyway, like I was saying, um, if you don't own a membership card to a place like this, then obviously your gas is going to cost you just a little bit more. It's not going to be a significant difference, but let's say here my tank of gas will cost whatever it's going to be today. And then that, that if I went to that place, it would have been a little bit more. So once I pump up, we'll see how much it costs us. Because I remember I went to one place um, and it was like... Actually, I'll tell you after. So this is obviously for me, this is how much the gas prices are gonna cost me. I know gas prices are completely different in every other state. So you just gotta, when it comes to paying for gas for this car, you just gotta manage that too. You gotta put that in your, your cost because essentially when you add up the car payment, the gas, the insurance, you're paying more. Obviously you're paying more than just, people just call it the car payment, but it's literally more than that because you gotta pay for everything else too, so. Paying a car payment is literally just to have the car sit in your driveway. You still gotta pay everything else to have plates on it. You gotta pay to drive it so there's no damage costs or anything like that. So, but anyway, let's hop out, get this gas. Car up. So easy tank, you just pop it. Um, actually, these are pretty easy pretty easy to open uh let me see if i can grab my wallet real quick i'm sorry about the shakiness so look at that premium 93 is 240 241 that other place for for uh 80 for 89 was 280 so crazy difference on price pump in you already know what baby 93. Now you don't have to put 93 in here, I, I don't think. I think you can do uh 91, but this gas station doesn't have 91. So uh the gas station we just left. So regular was 240. Um 89 was 280. 91 was like 295 and the 93 was like three dollars and ten cents. So that's that's a that's a no-go for me. We're def we definitely not paying that much for gas. That's just insane. 
I think those prices were like that because I'm I was that gas station I was just at was in the town of Greece. Greece is more one of the higher uh, price towns as far as taxes and uh, school tax and stuff goes. So I think that's why that gas price was so crazy. This is still this BJ's here is still in the town of Greece, but because they have their own personal membership for this, I think is why we get the gas cheaper. But when it comes when it comes to getting gas, man, if you got one of those gas stations who have cheaper gas, uh, try to make it to that gas station because. Get a little punch buggy that joint clean ah. but try to make it to one of those cheaper gas stations near you because you don't want to be paying outrageous money for this car especially when you got to put gas in it multiple times a week so um if you got one of those gas stations who's got that better price hey make sure you have enough gas by the end of your week to drive there every week because you because that that little bit of change look that was four, that's four dollar difference bro and this is 93 that was 89 that was plus. I'm sorry. It was plus on that side. That was 89, and it was 280. Like, it's a big difference, bro. Like so, if you got a if you got a spot, go to it. That's, make that your spot so you can save money on some gas. Cause this this not cheap. All right. So we done pumping. Pump just stop. How you doing, boss? Yeah, yeah. All right. So we done pumping. As y'all can see, 4210 need my receipt yes I do need to write that off baby have a good one man <laughs> try not to but all right so there you go this how much gas is gonna cost y'all well so I'm sorry let me say this let me let me let me redo this so on 93 93 gas at four dollars and I'm sorry, two dollars and forty-one cents. It's gonna cost you forty-two dollars and ten cents to fill your tank. Now I know in some states y'all gas is way more. Some of y'all pay fifty, sixty, seventy dollars to fill up y'all tank because y'all state is just ridiculous on gas. So anywhere I would range anywhere from whatever state you're in, anywhere from forty to seventy dollars per tank. And then this is not only I know this sounds forty bucks, forty-two bucks sounds cheap, right? But you got to remember, this car uses a lot of gas. So I'm putting, you got to think, I'm putting $42 in every three to four days. So that could be anywhere from $80 a week to $120 a week. A week. That's literally what my, that's, that's, that's literally another payment for another car or insurance for a car. $120 a week for gas. So if y'all think about getting one of these cars, man. I gotta keep that receipt anyway. And if you're doing YouTube, make sure you keep your gas receipts too, cause you can write them off. So if you think about getting one of these cars, make sure you factor that in in your budgeting, man, because gas is real or you ain't gonna be driving your car unless you one of them people where you run out of gas, you just gonna wait to that next paycheck. Which, hey, some people do that. I respect it. You gotta, you gotta get it how you could get it. But, um, but, it's, it's real, man. It's definitely real. I was prepared for this already because I got a few friends that have Hellcats and I have a couple friends that have uh, Z06 Corvettes or not. I should say people that I roll with. I have a couple cars like that. Um, and, you know, I was like I said, I've been doing this. I've been saving up for five years for this car. So I already have my everything planned out. Um, obviously, gas is going to change very often um, per week per state based on everything going on in the world see dang i lost a lot of range so i usually get 240 miles per per gallon and my it dropped down to 200 because again that's what happens when you have a phone in the car um i dropped 40 miles that fast so but anyway you gotta factor that in too because 120 bucks for ga gas alone a week a week that's five hundred dollars a month in gas. That's crazy, crazy. That's another car payment, bro. That's a second car. So, <laughs> for the people who, for the people who um budget that in like me, I respect it, man. Cause this this it's a lot of money. So you got a, a high car payment alone, plus another five hundred dollars in gas a month, bro. I could be driving a a. a another nice uh car for 500 dollars a month 
easily. Probably could have me a nice little uh, four four banger Mercedes or something, or a four banger uh, BMW for five hundred dollars a month. What? Or uh, I could have I could have got my short I could have got my girl a nice SUV for five hundred dollars a month. Like it's real, it's real. So again. Be prepared for stuff like that, man. Because if you plan on getting any performance car like that, I think you'll be a little bit better. You'll be a little bit on a better side of getting like a twin turbo V8 car because they might use gas a little less. I'm not sure. Or a, a twin turbo V6 car. I'm pretty sure those use get gas a lot less. So you'll be good with one of those. But it, it don't matter what car you get. Just make sure you do your research, man, on how how much gas gonna be costing you based on where you at. Uh, if you know if you know you paying forty dollars in gas for your Honda Accord or your Chrysler two or your Chrysler or your Acura whatever car you got if you, or your Subaru whatever if you know you paying forty thirty to forty dollars for that just know you're gonna be paying about fifty sixty bucks for a Hellcat or any high performance car and you're gonna have to pay that multiple times a week because I fill up at least at least three times a week because of my long distance drive because I can't keep my foot off the pedal so you're gonna have to you're, you're gonna have to fill up multiple different times so if you know that's that's gonna be one of your struggles maybe don't have it as a daily because a lot of people don't daily Hellcats that I've noticed I daily mine because that was my whole goal I just don't like paying 80 grand for a car and only driving it on weekends that's to me that's just a waste of money honestly like you don't buy a car with this much horsepower and they build this car to be literally pushed past 100 miles per hour every single day and for you to pay 50 60 70 80 grand for it to only drive it on weekends and have it sit in the garage like you're not doing the car it's just as it deserves man so me i'm daily driving mine so that's where my gas my extra gas cost comes in at so again about 42 bucks to fill the tank and for, mo and for other states, I'm assuming it's gonna be probably 50, 60, or 70 bucks for you. And that's every three days. I can stretch four. I can really stretch four if I want to. Um, but most like, I'm sorry, every three to four days, I can really stretch five days if I really wanted to. I can stretch the gas on five days. Uh, but it just so happens that I like to have fun with the car. I drive it a lot. That's just what I wanna do with it, man. That's, that was my goal with the car. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. So hopefully this was informational enough for y'all. Make sure again, any car y'all get, just do your research, man. Cause I was like, I, that's, that's really all I do, but that's all I got for y'all today, man. Y'all stay safe, drive safe. Um, just have a good rest of your day, man. Stay positive. Um, keep hustling, keep grinding for whatever you want. Whatever your dream is, man. Just keep working at it. You'll be good. I'm out y'all.